and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sarah and the other half of Adults of Disney is Jeff. And today we are on the Disney Magic cruise ship. This is gonna be our first time on this cruise ship. And we are really excited also because it is an Avengers Day at Sea cruise. So it's a five night cruise. One of the days at sea fully Avengers. We have a day at Castaway, another day at sea, and a day at Cozumel, Mexico. We cannot wait to share it all with you guys. It's time for another adventure. After we got on the ship, we went up to Cabanas. So this is gonna be one of the places for lunch. It's gonna be a buffet style. They have everything from like chicken and mac and cheese um, to seafoods and salads. So Jeff and I each grabbed a little bit of everything and there's also a bunch of desserts. For the seating, it's indoor and outdoor seating. So you can kind of pick what you want. Um, and it's a pretty quick uh, meal. You just come in, grab it. And now we're gonna go explore some more of the ship. This slide is crazy. So you like stand and they close you in and then it drops the floor but below you, it looks nuts. <laughs> We just finished up lunch and now we're gonna go grab some drinks. There's a nice bar that is in the adult only area. So we're gonna check that one out, kind of relax and just kind of hang out until we depart and our room's ready. We just stopped into one of the bars here on one of the top decks. So this is Signals um, and we each got a drink. I went with the drink of the day, which is a special, it's called the Bahama Mama. I believe it has like rum and fruit juice. Jeff got a like twist on an old fashioned. I'll give mine a try, let's see. Mm, that's really good. So it's very fruity. Um, and just an idea price wise, Jeff's old fashioned drink was about $13. We're now going to go check out the Vibe area, which is going to be one of the separate areas de uh, designated for kids or teens on the ship. So we'll go show you guys what that's like. Right now it's an open house, so that's the only time adults are allowed to go in there. We're just inside, so there's like areas for video games. Um, there's a really nice view outside, and they also have some like old school, like arcade type style games. So it's pretty cool in here. We just made it into our room. So we have a veranda stateroom here on the Disney Magic, um, which means that you have like that deck outdoor space. We'll show you at the end. When you first walk in, you're gonna have the bathroom, which is split. So I'll show you both those before heading into the bedroom space. So opposite the bathrooms, there is a little closet space, which I'll show you afterwards, but in here is gonna be like the main bedroom space. So you have the bed here. Um, in the other little area, you're gonna have the couch, which will fold out into a bed. And then um, with the TV below that is gonna have a mini fridge. And then lastly, we'll show you out on the deck. Here's the deck area. Here's a few other details in the bathroom and throughout the stateroom. I will say that everything is still really nice, but you can definitely tell that the items in here are just a little bit more dated than the Disney Dream, which we've been on previously, but we're still really excited to be staying here.
We're now exploring the other kids' areas, which are the Oceaneer Lab and Club. So they're two separate areas, but there's a secret passage that connects them that the kids can take when they're here. So we'll show you both of those. These areas are gonna be for kids ages three to 12. Um, this one's pretty relaxed. The other one I've heard is a little bit more interesting of things to check out. All right, here we go into the Oceaneer Club now. <laughs> ah, over in this area, looks like there's some characters. This is so fun. Good. Just keeping, making sure everything's all safe, well taken care of. Is one of you gonna borrow Iron Man suit over there, or? Just oh, I see. Just display. Oh, it's a prototype. Oh, okay, that makes sense. This Toy Story area is just so cute. So I think it's my favorite area of this Oceaneers but I absolutely love all the details in here. I did a shirt change because tonight our rotational dining is at Animator's Palette. Um, so this is gonna be different than the one on the Dream because it will change colors um, as the meal kind of goes through. So we're really excited to kind of check this out. Um, the other rotational dining options for the screws are different than the Dream. Um, so we are really looking forward to all those. So we're heading to dinner now. We just made it into Animator's Palette and I already love it in here. So right now everything is like black and white um, and then I believe through the night color is added and they also gave us these placemats where we have to like draw our image and then um, I believe during the night the image will show up maybe on like the screen behind us. So really excited for this, um, already loving this restaurant. We just got our first course. Jeff went with a Serrano ham and I did a black truffle pasta, which I'll give a try right now. Let's see. It's so good. So we'll give this all a try and then entree's coming next. Wow! Now that's what I call a colorful entrance. <laughs> oh, hi folks. Oh gosh, thanks for all the great drawings. These are just what I need to whip up a little animation magic. <laughs> I'll be back later, but right now, we invite you to sit back and relax as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. I forgot we had another round of stuff before the main course. So next up we got soup. Jeff did a baked potato and I'm trying the butternut squash. All of the appetizers and the soups were all really good. For our entrees, Jeff went with a pork, which is huge, um, and I went with a chicken.
everybody. See y'all real soon. <laughs> All of the entrees were amazing, so everything here, honestly, I like it more than the dream. So the food's been great, the experience has been awesome, and now time for dessert. We went with um, two sundaes, so the cookie and cream sundaes and icebox cake. We just finished up our meal here at Animator's Palette. The food was great, the atmosphere was awesome, we loved the shows, our servers were fantastic. We're gonna head back to the room right now for a little bit of a break before going to maybe watch a show later tonight, but we've had a great time so far on our first day here on the Disney Magic. We just made it back to our room and the cast member left us um, a little animal. We think it's a crab. And then they also leave little candies for you. We just stopped into one of the shops and there's a whole bunch of really fun merchandise in here. I really love a bunch of this like swim merchandise that's cruise themed. This dress is really cute. It's $130. But has some really fun cruise details. With this cruise, we also have a Marvel Day at Sea, so they have a whole bunch of Marvel merchandise as well. I actually really like this little magnet because it has the Disney Cruise Line since 1998, which is when this, the magic ship was introduced. We are about to head in to see the Tangled show here at the Walt Disney Studio Theater. Uh, it's we're at the later show, so if we have an early dinner, main seating, your show I think is at 8.30, so it's about time to head in and see what the show looks like. the magic ship I would highly recommend it for this five night cruise it's happening two nights so it happens tonight and again tomorrow night but it was a really fun day we're both tired and we're excited for castaway key tomorrow so we're gonna head to bed but thank you all for following along with us and we can't wait to take you on our next adventure